Okay guys, so today I'm going to be showing you a tutorial on how to do stop motion with Final Cut Express. So uh, here I'm going to go down and open Final Cut Express. And obviously it'll just take a little bit to load just because, you know, it's opening it. Uh, yeah, load, loading the effects, version 2, you know, all that. Um, okay, so it's almost done, and yeah, sometimes something will just come up. You can just, you know, forget it. Um, okay, so it's pretty much done now. Obviously, things will come up because that's just, you know, how it is. Okay, so now <clears throat> everything is opening. So, blah, blah, see, something else came up just because I deleted that before when I edited it, but... No biggie. So if something like that happens, like you can just delete it. But anyways, so this is the stop motion a project that I have, which I will release be releasing very soon. Uh, so new project. Okay, so I just did that because. Okay, so you have the new project, new track, new, <coughs> new uh, stuff. So now there's all the pictures that I have. So you want to, you know, I'm going to go ahead and delete this and just, you can either do cut or just click the delete button. So what you want to do is you want to select all of them there. Um, and something if you want to do is you can just minimize that and then just make this a little bigger so you can see some of the pictures easier. But uh, select all of them that you want. Now, uh, so control A, then you need to deselect that because that's very important um, because that's that is basically just all this down below. So you want to take all of these and put it into track one. Now if you're doing chroma keying, that's different. You put it in v version two, but we'll get to that another time. Anyways, so preparing video for display. That just means that well, preparing the video for display, dummy. Um, <laughs> okay. Uh, it's 57, 60, 62, 65, 68, 71, 73, 76, okay, it's done. Um, so as you can see, I there are all these pictures down there. And the reason why they're so thin is just because, so now you, wait, now you go and just open this up again and do that. But the reason they're all so small is because, well, that's the length of them, which is right now I think 0.2 seconds. So, I mean, well, 0 0.02 seconds. So as you can see, I uh, see something else again just popped up. Don't worry about that. Okay, so now as you can see, there's the stop motion. Um, so you can just go through and look at it real quick. Now, what we want to do is so we want to select all of them. Okay. Uh, now we want to do, go to duration. I already have it set to 0 0.02, but you know you can um uh, you can just change it to I guess maybe like. 0.4 or something if you want just based on you know how best you think it would look so obviously something like walking you just normal walking for like few I mean you'd want to do that sort of a lower fl frame rate or else it would look like he's running with his back completely straight up but that's still I mean okay so now it's ready for display and as you can see it's playing and it's obviously not a very high frame rate obviously, because you have it at 0.04 seconds. So, <clears throat> select all of it, duration, and then just go back to, and see if you go to one, now, uh, it's again, again, preparing video for display, you're going to see that this is going to be much faster than 0.04. So, okay, so, as you can see, it's much faster, it's going like at a ridiculous frame rate and then oh if it ever says unrendered like that go to sequence render all and then it'll ask you to save it because then it doesn't know where to render to but I'm not going to save it right now because I don't want this project to be in take up more memory space in my computer so I'm just going to not save it so I mean it'll still render it, it just won't apply it to that saved project mm -hmm. Uh, okay, hurry up, hurry up. Got a tutorial to do. Okay, so now that you see it's all done, now you can go through and watch. See, I mean, it's all 
So this is a guy's uh, sneak peek of what will be coming. So yeah. Uh, as you can see, there's each individual frame. And yeah. I mean, you can obviously go and delete some parts that you don't want, like that picture that just had the my table in there. So and you can obviously chroma key that one that you just saw. Uh, but anyways, um, that's pretty much it of how to do stop motion. Again, I'm just going through and showing you. But besides that, um, that's all. Oh, whoops. Uh, there's one last thing. If you go to, um, you can go to save project. This is the last thing. It just uh, occurred to me. Uh, and you need to save it as, I'm just going to say, oh, this is fat. <laughs> Something random. Okay, now you would click save. I'm just going to click cancel because I don't want it. And, um, file, I mean, oh, not file, uh, Final Cut, Ex go to Final Cut Express, user preferences. Now, um, they'll give some options, but the real thing you want is, uh, editing. And you see, look, still, dash freeze duration, this means the picture duration, still, obviously. I have it set as the, um, normal option to be 0 0.0, 0 0.02. And this is definitely what you want, because... You know, it's it would just be this is just what you want, guys. Okay, so um, you can click OK, and then from now on, that's going to be the normal for your project. So I'm just gonna quit on Cut Express because um, that's just yeah. So now it's quit, and uh, yeah, as always, rate, comment, and subscribe, and ciao.